Yeah. Yeah, so beautiful. Just flip the script. We have this negative connotation of what submission is. And every gift that God gives us is beautiful and perfect and pure and from above. And submission is a gift from God. Just like humility is, just like love is, just like the bond of unity is. All of these are gifts from God. And if we can see those gifts of God for what they are as being beautiful. But look at how the enemy has just turned that around and said, this gift from God is bad. No, it's just uncomfortable. And being uncomfortable is okay. Because that's where connections are made when things are uncomfortable. And things get difficult at times. But God is wanting us to connect on deep levels. And wanting us to, that just like a body that, that has to work as a body, it only grows when it's connected with the other parts. And you and I are not going to grow if we're not connected to one, each other, one another. And I just want to say this. I'm, I'm just looking back on my life and I'm just looking at the last 10 years and, and just looking at, you know, six, six years ago when we started this church and just thinking about, um, you know, one of the people that really stand out in my mind is Uncle Ernie and just meeting Uncle Ernie six years ago and seeing Uncle Ernie now. And the growth that took place in his life and in mine and in John's. And the reason why I can stand back and look at that growth is because I also see how connected we have been. That we, we, we know each other on a deep level. That we uh, connect while we're here and we connect when we're outside of here. And it's that relationship and it's the joining. It's not like, oh, if you hang out with me, you'll grow because I'm special. No, if you hang out with me, you'll grow because I am burdensome. <laughs> And I'll require growth in your life. And in order for us to be friends, it's going to require growth. And in order for us to be married, it's going to require growth. In order for us to be in the same body, it's going to require growth. And so this is, what, this is what my heart's desire is that this week we would take a look at the excuses that we use for not connecting with one another and say, is this what I'm called to? Like these things that I'm saying, and I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm just going to hurt everybody's feelings right now. None of you are too busy. That's a lie. I mean, I've been involved in a lot of things. Not now, but I've been involved in a lot of things. I have, I have started, planted, pioneered a church. Started a family at the exact same time. Started a... a uh, 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 working at a company, working tons of overtime, working and becoming engrossed in all of the things that I did. And I cannot look at that time in my life and go, wow, you were just too busy. It's not true. I was called to. I was called to those things. And when you're called to those things, you spend the time on the stuff that you want to do. God gave you 24 hours and me 24 hours. That's it. And if you can sit there and say, I can't, I can't be called to the body. I can't participate in the body. I can't connect with the body because I just don't have time. You are telling the person who gave you time, I don't have what you gave me. And he's saying, you do. I gave it to you. Just like I gave it to them and them and them. Yeah, but my life's different. You're buying a lie. And that means you're called to yourself and not to the body. And so just consider the things that we use as excuses and say, is this what I'm called to? Because I can tell you this much. You're not just called to your family. Your family is called to be a part of the body. Your family exists to be a part of the body. My children, I'm not just called to my children. I'm called to connect my children to the body of Christ. I'm called to raise them and to train them and to connect with them and to make sure that they connect with one another because I'm called to the whole body. How powerful it is to be in a relationship with someone who's called to you. And you know it. When you get into a relationship and you're like, dude, why are you, why are you going the extra mile for me? Because I'm called. I'm called to you. Yes.
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you want to carry my burden? No, but I will. I just, I just want you to know this. God is never going to be impressed with your outstanding achievements. God is never going to be impressed by your individual abilities to be strong or to be this or to be that or to be whatever. God is never going to be impressed by your individual achievements. He will be impressed by the bride of Christ. He will be impressed by the body. I want to make a presentation to him that he can come back for and say, that's the bride I want. I don't want him to go, wow, Greg, you were a good preacher. That's worth nothing. He didn't call me to be a good preacher. He called me to be a part of a body. And for that body to grow into the fullness of Christ Jesus himself. And so, you know, sometimes we think, oh, I need to be strong and I need to get through this on my own. That's the exact opposite of what God has called you to. God did not call you to be strong and to overcome things by yourself. He called you to be a part of a body because it's... It, because it's, you, you, it's hard to understand. It's hard to wrap your mind around. I'm going to close with this. This is it. We're done. But I just, it's hard to wrap your mind around this. But even your junk, if you're going through stuff, and if you bring that to me, that it in, enhances my life. Because we make a connection. It enhances my life because as you get stronger, it encourages me, and then I get stronger. And we think that, oh man, I'm dumping a burden on you and it's going to hurt you. It actually isn't if you're part of a body. It's like, it's like when, you, when you hurt your hand and you're like, you know what? The hand's like, you know what? Just no one help me. I'm just going to sit out here and suffer. And the rest of the body's like, no, we, kinda, we all want this to get better because we're feeling this too, Jack. Okay, this thing that you're going, oh, this throbbing, my head's going, yeah, this hurts. And the rest of my body's like, yeah, and we have to lift everything now because no one's taking care of this hurt. And that hurt, and as soon as that, we, we fix that hurt, the whole body's going, ah, oh, that's better. You know this is true. Like when you, you start to fix the hurt and the hurt goes away, it isn't just the hand that's like, oh, that's better. The whole body's like, yes, we're back. We're good. I feel stronger. I feel better because we fixed that thing. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. We thank